Introduction to alkynes. These are molecules that contain one or more triple bond. The composition of this bond is 1 sigma and 2 pi. So the two carbons involved are sp hybridized. This means that the sigma bond is from sp overlap with sp and the pi bonds, as always, are p overlapping with p. Just for a quick review, a p orbital has two lobes, one above the nucleus with positive phase and one below the nucleus with negative phase. A pi bond occurs when you have side on overlap in phase of two p orbitals. Now let's say these two p orbitals that are overlapping are px orbitals. Well, you can also have py orbitals. And here's what a py orbital would look like. py orbitals can overlap in the same way. to give another pi bond. So in an alkene, we have both of these sets of px orbitals and py orbitals overlapping to give you a pi bond. This picture shows the full bonding and a triple bond. So we've got a pi bond from these px orbitals in the vertical axis overlapping here and here. And our other pi bond is from these py orbitals in the horizontal axis, overlapping here and here. When you're naming alkynes, the guidelines are very similar to what we've done in the past. The first thing you've got to do is identify the parent chain. This is the longest carbon-carbon chain that includes the triple bond. So, for instance, here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, as opposed to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we're talking about the longest carbon-carbon chain that includes the triple bond. Not necessarily the longest carbon-carbon chain in the molecule. Another thing to point out is this angle is 180 degrees, and because we're used to bond line structures and having atoms at the corners, people always forget this carbon atom. So don't do that. Then you identify and name the substituents. Then you assign a locant to each substituent. And now the CC triple bond gets locant priority. It wants to have the lowest number. So here we number left to right. To give the CC triple bond the lowest locant, 2 ion is better than 5 ion. Step 4 is just as usual with naming. You list the numbered substituents before the parent name in alphabetical order, and you ignore all the prefixes unless they are ISO when you're ordering alphabetically. And this triple, the CC triple bond locant is placed before the parent name or before the ion suffix. So here we 
the parent is either 2 heptine or the parent is hept 2 ine. As far as substituents, we have these three methyl groups, 2 on carbon 5 and 1 on carbon 6. Each substituent gets a locant, and because there are three methyl groups, it's trimethyl. So for the final name, we've got 556 trimethyl hept 2 ine, or we could do 556 trimethyl 2 heptine. Now you try naming this one.